So what is xylazine? You've probably heard it on the street. Xylazine is being referred to as Trank, Sleep Cup, and my favorite, Anastasia de Caballo, which literally translates into Spanish, anesthesia for horses. Now you see where I'm going with this. Originally, xylazine was actually developed for animals. Yes, the same animals that we see in the vet. Veterinarians will use this to help calm animals or use it to sedate them for procedures. This is why it's tricky. This medication was never meant for human consumption. So humans are animals. We all know this, right? And sometimes you have a crossover, antibiotics, things like that, but our bodies react differently. When humans ingest xylazine, they get very drowsy. They go to this thing called a sleep cut, which is very risky because when the humans ingest this, one of the main actions of xylazine is that it acts on the central nervous system and causes the receptors to drop your blood pressure and cause sedation, which can actually cause a coma and death. Now, some of the other side effects we've heard in the news, itchy skin, rashes around the mouth, but the most common one is the ulcers or non-healing wounds on people that are using xylazine. So why is this tricky? A lot of people aren't going straight to the dealer asking for xylazine or Trank. Unfortunately, it's being laced into the fentanyl drug supply right now. So that's like adding ghost peppers to an already spicy meal that has habanero peppers in it. It's overkill and it's too much. But this is where it complicates the situation for us a lot more. When someone is encountering a person in a possible opiate overdose and they administer Narcan, they see that the Narcan has zero to low effect on that person because they're actually overdosing on Trank. So this is why it's really important to have this conversation. We're going to continue to educate ourselves so this way we can have a direct impact on our surrounding community and continue to lower our overdoses, which therefore will lower our overdose deaths. Now, in one of our next videos, we're actually going to address Narcan and xylazine and things that we can do to combat that.